family prepared for a grand celebration. Princess Adana, the beautiful daughter of the benevolent King Nana, was to be adorned with a special anklet, a priceless family heirloom passed down through generations. It was a long, long time ago, in a very old and peaceful kingdom called Agu. The kingdom was known for its beautiful culture, lively marketplace, warm hospitality of its people, and grand festive celebration of the royal anklets. Well, in this kingdom lived a young maiden named Ozomena. Ozomena is a very beautiful, kind-hearted and hard-working maiden. Loved by all the children in the village for her beautiful and mind-blowing stories. She wove for them beneath the shade of a big tree every night in the village square. One day, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm orange glow across the village, the royal family prepared for a grand celebration. Princess Adana, the beautiful daughter of the benevolent King Nana, was to be adorned with a special anklet, a priceless family heirloom passed down through generations. This anklet was said to possess magical powers that brings prosperity and good fortune to the kingdom. As the festivity begins, Ozomena, drawn by the joyous sounds of music and laughter, joined the celebration. The rhythmic beats of drums and the melodic tones of traditional instruments filled the air. In the midst of the celebration, a shadowy figure came out from the outskirts of the village, a mischievous witch, known for his corny and sly tricks had set his eyes on the coveted anklet. With a flick of his wrist and a whispered incantation, he managed to snatch the anklet right from Princess Adana's ankle without anyone noticing. Unknown to the villagers, a sense of gloom and misfortune settled over the land as the anklet disappeared. The once bubbling celebration came to an abrupt end replaced by murmurs of concern and confusion. King Nana, realizing the gravity of the situation, announced a grand reward for the person who could retrieve the stolen anklet and restore happiness to the kingdom. News of the missing anklet reached Ozomina's ear, and a spark of determination flamed up within her. Guided by a deep sense of duty and a desire to see her village flourish once again, she set out on a journey to find the stolen anklet and return it to its rightful place. Ozomena's quest took her through thick forests, across flowing rivers and into dangerous caves. Along the way, she met with a spirit who shared some wisdom with her and offered her guidance to accomplish her mission. Armed with her wit, kindness, and the guidance of the spirit, Ozomena continued her mission, facing the challenges that lay ahead. As she ventured deeper into the forest, Ozomena discovered that the stolen anklet held the key to unlocking a powerful ancient magic that could either bring prosperity or disaster to the entire kingdom. The fate of her people rested on her shoulders and Ozomena felt the weight of responsibility grow with each step she took. In the darkest moment of her journey, Ozomena faced the evil corny witch who had stolen the anklet. Battles of wit ensued with Ozomena through the lessons from the guidance of the spirits she encountered on her quest, outsmarted the corning spirits and reclaimed the stolen anklet. With the magical anklet restored to its rightful place, the kingdom basked in the return of joy and prosperity. The celebration resumed, but this time it was even more vibrant and filled with gratitude. Ozomena hailed as a heroine stood alongside Princess Adana, the two women 
who had played pivotal roles in the restoration of balance and harmony to the land. Ozomina's journey became an important tale told by generations to come, a story of courage, kindness and the enduring spirit of a young woman who against all odds brought back the happiness that had been stolen from her people. The anklet, now a symbol of resilience and hope, continued to weave its magic, ensuring that the village thrived for years to come. And under the shade of the big tree, Ozomina continued to share her mind-blowing tales, inspiring the hearts of those who listened and keeping the spirit of adventure alive in the hearts of all who heard her story.